Hello everyone, this is Luke Martz and today we are going to talk about Weldment. Alright, so this is a model that uh, I have been working in other videos. It is a, a crane frame uh, for place a hoist on the center. And um, we have a video about uh, the how to do it with frame generator. Uh, Another one for the analysis, and after the analysis, uh, and once I have something that that is acceptable, uh, I like to to go through the detailing. So basically, uh, I'm going to concentrate on this element at this point. On the environment tab, you can find the convert to element. Um, in this. In this, uh, it, it is really important to read everything what software is saying. Most of the people just go to yes, 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 and well, the, it, it, it is important to read. So, in this case, it is uh, let, letting us know that uh, the, the bit of material structure could be different from the usual. For, so you need to understand most of of this. So usually uh, weldments are um, and inseparable. So when you have this assembly inside another uh, another assembly, um, once you do the the bit of material work, it is not going to to give you each part. It is it is going to, to use this as a single and then when you call it uh, you need to to do another um, uh, drawing for detail this uh, frame so it makes sense for me uh, the selection of the material uh, you have parity of what is uh, usual and but uh, you have here some three options, I think. Uh, stainless steel, weld, uh, steel mild, and aluminum. Okay. The funny thing here with this is that when you place the, ma the, the material, uh, you're going to see it with, with a different texture. That, that that's basically what what is going to happen here. So okay, so going directly to the weld, uh, we have first the options for preparations and machining. Uh, at this point, we are not going to talk about that, but in the future future videos, for sure, we're going to concentrate a little bit more there. Okay, so. Uh, it is really important before you start just placing uh, welds everywhere. Uh, it's, it's good to know that you have a calculator inside the inventor. So for sure it is going to, to help you uh, to get uh, your work done faster and well. So here I, I, I'm showing showing this just as, as, as an example, but uh, we can have from the frame analysis that we did, we can extract the information for place here and I, I know more uh, about what the forces are and then uh, it is going to help us to, to have the, the, the correct Welt on that and make sure that, that we are going to have um, a correct model. So uh, in this case just going to, to, to hit OK but you are going to have that calculation on on the browser here it is and you can access uh, it when whenever you need and change it and everything so it is really helpful. Okay, so jumping to welds, uh, I'm going to concentrate right here on the fillet. We can 
of course uh, do a weld all all the contour but sometimes it is not necessary so the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to do all the contour uh, this is really simple you just need to pick the faces that you want to weld from the first element you have the option for do a chain so I'm going to, to exit this command and do it again so I'm going to select the chain option and it is going to select really fast the different sections always with uh, the elements with uh, tangent, uh, tangent faces so I have my first one and then I'm going to select my second element and there you have it you can select uh, between different uh, shapes uh, this shape I think is a little bit mm, uh, different from what you can get from um, using an arc welding for example so it's more probably that you're going to have convex so on the convex there you have it and you can also do uh, the other way a concave so you can see in the preview I'm going to leave it as as a convex there we go I'm going to um, we, we can set this offset I, I think this is more important about uh, on, on the bill of materials about the quantity of kilograms of, of welding that we are going to need but uh, it is basically uh, what controls the curvature there so depending on the level that you want to to detail on that depends on you okay I'm going to hit OK and there we have our our weld I'm going to weld this other guy but on a different way you always use the fillet but in this case I don't want to have all the contour in this case I want to to, to do uh, uh, sections and not exactly sections I mean all the section and the section below I mean sections on this section <laughs> okay so I'm going to select my two faces and now I can select uh, a pitch for example let's say 10 millimeters the spacing between them are going to be 5 millimeters that, that doesn't look good <laughs> I'm going to need 5 so then I can have 20 by 10 to say something I don't know uh, let's increase it yeah like that okay so that that's one option that you have for to do, for to do this and of course you can do it uh, on any other section now I'm going to just for finish this video uh, do the other option that is a uh, continuous weld I'm going to keep this here and let's say that it's going to be concave and clearly I can on this select these guys without selecting these ones and the, 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 the radiuses and all that that's fine okay there you have it fillet tool on welds in Autodesk Inventor. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to leave the, the links for the older videos and subscribe if you if you like it. Thank you so much. Have a nice one.